uh, perhaps crossing swollen rivers, uh, cliff faces, ridges, and this is all done tactically at night in, in bad weather. Right, y'all, welcome back to Combat Arms Channel. Okay, so today we are checking out something from the Royal Marines YouTube channel. Now, I'm very, very excited about this. You guys know that the video is coming from the Royal Marines YouTube channel. It's very, very good stuff. So you guys sent me this video probably, again, like 20 times within the first like 12 hours. So I appreciate you guys being on top of your game. Should be an interesting one. So this is about their mountain training. So I guess it's called Commandos in Scotland. I'm not exactly sure if this is going to be about like the mountain leader training or just general mountain training, preparing for something else, but should be cool. Now again, before we get into the video, I have a link down in the video description for ExpressVPN. So if you guys are thinking about getting a VPN, a virtual private network, I would highly recommend it. It just keeps you safer online. It masks your IP, it masks what you're doing because it encrypts your traffic end to end. And of course, if you're just trying to get content from other countries as far as like other Netflix shows or what have you, again, they have servers in 94 different countries so you can go use their different servers and connect and get access to all that good stuff. But I'll put that down in the video description. If you use that link, you can get three months free on top of a 12 month subscription. Definitely recommend checking it out, but let's check out this very, very cool video. All right, the hype is real, man. Super excited about this. And it's Scotland, so it's just gonna look beautiful. Nice. Man, that looks like so much fun. Now, something that's kind of worrying me is those rocks. I'm not sure what the rocks are actually like, but looking at this, it looks like they might actually be kind of like loose. And at the same time, it's also really jagged and not like totally flat. So if you're trying to repel or what have you, it's gonna be a little bit more difficult and you need to make sure you have some protection on your rope so it's not getting completely like sawed off at the top. But yeah, that looks like fun and it looks relatively safe as far as not having a rock come loose and you know land on your head. But I imagine they're gonna be wearing helmets anyway, so. Okay, four or five commando. Scotland is, is unique as a training area because it was where the commandos originated. You know, the first training was up in you know, at Macari, Cairngorms of Scotland. Oh. Uh, and even when, when Norway got taken in the Second World War, some of the Norwegians that managed to escape came over and we actually trained them to then be reinserted back oh, snap. into Norway. I didn't know that. their, cool. their job as, as resistance operators. <laughs> That's legit. We're here to achieve two things. One, to ensure we're prepared enough for the rigors of the Arctic. And secondly, to enhance our capability in the mountains. Military mountaineering, there's, there's a bit more to it than, than normal mountaineering. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. I mean, just alone, the massive packs and the weapons that you're gonna be wearing, the, the equipment that you need to move around when you're doing this mountaineering really makes the difference, but it looks really, really cool so far. And again, you guys know I love doing like the repelling and whatnot. If you haven't checked out my shorts channel, that's in the video description as well. But you'll see me every now and again do some repelling and just do some, some stuff that I learned when I was actually in the Marine Corps. Now, I didn't necessarily do mountaineering stuff, but I did learn how to do like repelling and set up repelling rigs and all the equipment associated with that and all the knots. And it's just, it's really good stuff to know because you can do a lot of stuff with it if you know how to you know, use it in all these different settings. So if you guys haven't done any mountaineering or if you haven't done any sort of rope training, I definitely recommend you look for like a course or maybe even a buddy who has gone through a course or they're like some sort of professional. Definitely recommend learning a thing or two because it's just, it's a lot of fun and it's a good skill to have. Mountaineering, we deploy in the, in the dark hours by helicopter deep into the mountains. Mm. We then have to move across really, really rugged terrain, <laughs> uh, perhaps crossing swollen rivers, uh, cliff faces, rivers. ridges, and this is all done tactically at night <laughs> in, in bad weather. Hell Hence yeah. why we train at this time of year. Uh, there's no other place like it in, in the world. If you don't like the cold, like fun, wet, man. Uh, windy uh, kind of environment, you know, it's, it's probably not your job. <laughs> so for me, I've always man, been interested in the military. Uh, and the Corps gave me that opportunity uh, to do something enjoy in my personal life, which is mountaineering, rock climbing. Oh, yeah. We are trying to get a company of men 
ready and, and prepared for, for mm. Norway. We're using the, the harshness uh, of the environment you get here <laughs> in Scotland. It's very yeah. wet, windy, cold. Ah, uh, levels. So I've seen what, I've seen the Royal Marines do like stuff in Norway all the time, but I'm not exactly sure what they specifically get up to. So if you guys have any personal experience of what the Royal Marines do in Norway, because it seems like it is like a full blown deployment, but again, I'm not exactly sure. They probably do a lot of cross training, but I'm not sure what the focus is besides just general mountaineering and maybe just like some cold weather stuff. Because of course, when the Royal Marines are in Norway, they go and do that crazy stuff where they jump into the freezing cold water. And it looks like a lot of fun. And this looks like a lot of fun as well. Again, it's nice to sort of mirror that terrain and that weather so it prepares you a little bit more. And it's just, it's good experience to know. You get to really know your equipment when you try and put it in all these different environments. The training are, are, are such that we've had all sorts of uh, special operation groups yeah, there you go. come to you us. See? They have this to sort of prevent the rope from getting just completely jacked up, which is honestly a pretty interesting solution. It looks like duct tape and like just some random foam. I found that uh, if you got like a squat bar, like a padding, the ones that go over the bar, that works kind of well. You just need to make sure it has a little bit more grip, which this one seems it has a little bit better grip so it's not just sliding down. For the training, so anywhere from the, the Middle East to the, the Baltics, the high north, Hmm. Uh, and over the water in America. And we've currently got some Americans here training with us. Oh, yeah. I'm a member of uh, 10th Special Forces Group. We are currently here um, God training with- God damn, he's got a fucking, all of them. The Sheesh. Marines. All the, the tabs. The idea behind our training is to improve our skills. Uh, we've experienced four seasons throughout our time here hmm. in Scotland and uh, the mountain level one and two instructors that we have providing the instruction are exceptionally well versed in these mountain skills oh, yeah. we've definitely learned a lot from them and i'm very appreciative of all the uh sort of warm welcome and also yeah. invaluable insights that our uh, partners have and are able to provide us with a, a better perspective uh, not only just training but culturally as well mm. if you ask me yeah. if the well said. troops undergoing training are enjoying it i would say Probably no, because it's so hard, so extreme. Yeah. But they definitely reap the benefits once they're finished. That's, After that's it, they are going to feel yeah. a real sense of achievement. And certainly, when they get into the Arctic, they'll feel far more ready. For sure. I think the UK's terrain in general is a lot closer than a lot of the stuff you would find in the US. Like for the US, maybe if you go to like Bridgeport or something, you can get a kind of close. Uh, but I mean, I guess here in Washington, it's just generally very wet and you get a lot of elevation changes. So it might be kind of similar, but even so, the, the climate in general is not going to be the same. I'm not sure how cold Scotland gets particularly. Of course, when you get to higher elevation, it's going to be colder. But yeah, I'm not sure like how much snow you guys get over there. So of course, if you guys have anything to add to the video, please throw it down below. But yeah, this looks really cool. It's also nice to get the perspective of the US service member because you can see he's probably been there and done that a few times as far as like all the tabs and whatnot that he had. So being able to sort of share those experiences and compare them with what he's seeing now is pretty cool because again, there's not a whole lot of outside opinion that you hear about these certain things. So when you get people that have had other training from other militaries, it's kind of cool to see how it compares. And I would imagine... Yeah, like he's saying, these guys are absolute professionals and they're very well versed in what they're doing. But it just it just seems like a lot of fun. I know like what he's saying there, it's not going to be fun. And yeah, of course, it's going to be very brutal. But if that's something you love, then you're going to appreciate whatever you're doing. Uh, it's just it's going to suck from time to time. And your equipment is going to fail from time to time. You just need to be sure that you're getting that experience so you know what might fail in what conditions and sort of prevent that as much as possible. But yeah, Murphy's Law will always come into effect, so it's always nice to get the experience to make sure that you're ready for it. But yeah, a lot of fun to check this video out. Thank you guys again for being very punctual and sending it my way so I could blast it out, do a reaction. I'm a little bit late. I think I'm about two weeks late, maybe a little bit more. But yeah, glad I'm able to get to it at some point. Thank you guys again. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. That is it for this video. I will see y'all in the next one.